Hey guys, I was going to do the entire bathroom, shower, and all that stuff all in one video, but I thought I'd break it up a little bit and just get this out of the way. This is my DIY. It's a composting style toilet, but of course if you're boondocking or van dwelling or whatever, you're not going to be packing that stuff around with you for the next year or two while it breaks down. So, we'll probably just use uh, a bag inside the bucket. And then whatever your cover medium is going to be, wood chips, moss, you know, coconut, whatever you like. The Home Depot bucket, it's cut slightly shorter because of the height of the box. Notched in the front. Let's see, this is a one gallon container from Walmart. This is the plexiglass covered viewing window. In case you're not going to empty that every day, every two days, and you don't really want that to go over. Standard toilet seat from Home Depot. Let's open it up. This is the separator. This is from a company called Kildwick in the UK. You can either visit them at their website or they do sell some of these on eBay. And if you're really goofy, you can order these in multiple colors and in heavy, heavy metal flake if you're into that thing. But me, sitting on top of a sparkling golden toilet wasn't really my thing. Let's see if I can get this open without knocking everything over. And this is what the underside of the separator looks like. As you can see, that's uh, why the uh, bucket down here has got the notch. Just to fit around that thing. Box dimensions right off the bat. 16 inches high, 19 inches wide, and 21 inches deep. What I did on the inside here, down here at the bottom, this is some sort of shower surround material. Goes up slightly on the sides, it's sealed, so if something were to go horribly wrong with the urine separator, it's not going to soak into the wood. These pieces here I made, they're just made out of scrap pieces of polyiso, and they're just to keep all the innards from moving around. So, it's easy to do this container get it down in there fits in its little space there on that end and I don't know if you can see it in the video it has uh, markings on it for how full it is I think I'm just gonna take a black marker and mark what I would call full and let's see if I can do this yeah, you guys are gonna be looking at everything while I'm doing this this bucket out of here there we go. Reopen the toilet. Grab my bucket. Get set down in there. I have no idea where you guys are pointed. And that's what the inside looks like. Pretty much set up. It's kind of self-explanatory, but I'll show you anyway. Like I said, you can just put bags inside here so it can just be thrown away since you're not going to be packing around long enough for anything to break down and once the top is closed it is all up and you really can't see in there but yeah it's you know what this holds for and you know what that's holds for I don't have to explain that to you but that would be it that is my DIY composting style toilet a couple of carrying handles because it's kind of hard to get a grip on that box anyway that is what we're using instead of just we have a luggable loo it's up there somewhere on the shelves but I really don't like it that much they're so small and they don't really fit the Home Depot buckets very well so we went this route yeah so that's what we're gonna be using in the shower tent all right, thanks for watching guys.